All right, it's been a few days, um, but she is ready. She's good to go. We got the new Predator on. We got the lights done. We got a battery box mounted. We got the light bars ready to go. Let me flip this handle up and climb over our 90 barrels of crap and millions of projects we just got going on. Um, yeah, I got the hitch in, we got the exhaust on, everything wired up, we got the kill switch and the handlebars wired up, um, the belt's off to make it, you know, easily movable so you have reverse. Now let me sneak around here. Ooh, and then we have our final drive system up and good. Everything should be lined up good, everything is kind of shifted over, chain is straight, Chain tensioner is on there. Uh, sprockets on the jack shaft goes into there. That's all hooked up. It is ready to go. Throttle cable should be all set up. I kind of set it up last night. I, I redid that spring and I redid the actual throttle cable and the routing. Uh, yeah, so it should be good to go. And if we go over here, I want to get a ladder to work on. Ford Edge, but that's besides the point. We got a the snow we need. Look at that. Probably, probably uh, six eight inches of snow out here, and we're in a winter weather advisory. It keeps going on and on. Like right now, it's not really snowing that much, but then it'll just start downpouring snow everywhere. And also, I just went out and bought this Otter Pro, one hundred fifty dollar medium sled, and these nice bars. Right? And you would think for one hundred fifty dollars, you should just be able to slide the thing through there no look at that look at that i have to drill out a 150 dollar sled because there's an imperfection in there i know it's minor it probably doesn't mean anything it takes two seconds to go in here get a drill out of my pack out go out there and drill that little thing out but it's just kind of it's just kind of i don't know i don't it's like come on otter I knew it would. Oh, I didn't have to choke all the way off anyway. Hey, she wants the choke on, huh? Wow. Okay. We'll let it run on the choke all the way to the runway. If that doesn't do us any good. Oh, she's ready now. What the heck? She's dying. Choke work for sure. Wow. Oh. Probably help if I turn the gas on. 
and then put the choke on. That would probably help if I turn the gas on, right? Should be in business now, I think. business. I don't know how that angle looks or anything, but we're just going to roll with it. Let's see how the new chain works, huh?
this thing is a beast. Um, I didn't bring the big camera because I don't have any, you know, where to store it. And I didn't want it to rattle all around because this thing's a little bit bumpy still. But here's a little overview of what I did in the last video. Chain case, put those stoppers on there. You got the chain and the sprocket, had that all welded up. Uh, had a keyway put in the shaft. Built this bracket there. Put the chain on the inside. Put the chain case back on the right side. So it was over here, and that actually bent the shaft uh, or the back plate there out. Um, yeah, put an exhaust on it, and I put a battery box on it. Other than that, oh, and a light bar switch, and bought the sled kit for it. As you can tell, the mud flap and everything actually works pretty decent. Uh, and I painted it black, made it look a little bit better. It was like navy blue, almost purple. But yeah, that is the machine. Um, I might do a full breakdown on the whole build, but yeah, that's the ultimate ice fishing machine. I'm just out here having fun with it in the field. Maybe I'll go over to Garrett's house over there and uh, just cross the field and get him and he can take some sick rollers to me or something. Uh, other than that, all the footage that you already see is what you're gonna see, so. Uh, yeah, stick with it, uh, stay tuned, and uh, enjoy the rest of the video. Right, let's see if we can't start this bad boy up. I don't know why, even after running it like that, it still wants to be started with the choke. And then you shut the choke off and it runs just fine. Look at that, idle's lighter on, let's turn the light bars on and get after it. What the heck? Why'd that thing just stop? Oh no, did we run out of fuel? No, it's got enough fuel. Why'd it just stop though? It smells overloadedly like fuel. Huh. Pull a kill switch and see if we can't get it to get started. What the heck? Huh. Why is it blowing white smoke? It's flooded out somehow? We'll be back to you after this short message if we can get it started. All right, so I didn't even have time. I didn't even have time to do anything. Whew. I didn't even have time to do anything. I just had to jump in. And I got from like right over there to here in the cornfield. And I only got to make it down there, but it just shut off on me again. I don't know what's going on here, but something ain't, something ain't going right. It's, it's taking on too much fuel or something. I don't know. I don't know if it's too cold. We're gonna try and get her started again, but we're in the freaking cornfield, so we gotta shoot down the thing. I don't know if it's not getting enough fuel. Or... 
too much fuel? I don't know. So let's try and limp it back. Let's see if it does it again. Yeah, see? It cuts in and out. Let's see if we can't make it home. This thing, it stalled on me for some reason. I mean, I was full throttle in the beans. It was going great. I was in it. It had enough fuel, it was running fine, and it stalled like twice. I don't know if stuff's like getting too wet up there or something, but it stalled twice on me. Heck yeah, that's a certified ripper. If you want to see more content, it's to come on the channel. I'm going to continue ripping this thing around. Hopefully this audio is good because this GoPro's microphone sucks. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.